This is everyone listening. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, thank you all for coming tonight. Tonight, I would like to honor a hero, not only on the battlefield, but from then on. From the time he joined the Air Force, to when he became a famous painter who had his own TV show and brought many smiles to people all across the world. I'm talking about the late, great, legendary Bob Ross. <laughs> Bob Ross, Bob Ross's legacy started when he was 18 years old when he joined the Air Force. For 20 years, he was with the Air Force, training with them, and when he was in the Air Force, he eventually worked his way up to becoming one of the first sergeants of the Air Force. After 20, while he was over at the Air Force, he learned how to paint during his breaks, because he believed that paint, painting was a great way of relieving stress. He got so good at painting that after 20 years of being in the Air Force, when he decided to leave the Air Force, he decided to become a painter. He realized that was one of his biggest passions. Now, one of the most special things about this particular veteran who became a painter was he was calm. He had a calm, soothing voice. He was just happy all the time. He always had happy trees in his paintings. He always had happy canyons, happy everything. Whenever, whenever he made a mistake in his paintings, he didn't get mad and say, uh-oh, I screwed up. He would call it a happy mistake <laughs> or a happy accident. That was, how he was all, that was how he pulled a sneaky on everyone because he was always happy. <laughs> He always brought smiles on everyone's faces as he taught the entire world how to paint and told them that they are able to do anything they put their minds to. Unfortunately, Bob Ross passed away in 1991. However, his legacy still lives on. He is still known internationally as a man who taught people how to paint happily. And his son still owns the family business. He has left, Bob Ross has left a happy little legacy that he has painted in our lives. Thank you all for showing up tonight.